Today we are going to crochet this adorable rocking horse applique. It's made in a number of separate pieces, starting at the rocker here, then the main body, and then the head is a separate piece as well as the saddle, and then you finish off with these little bits here. Let's see what we need. There are four colors in the rocking horse. Here are the ones I have used for this here pastel colored one, and these for the sort of brown colored one. All these are mercerized cotton. They are not the same yarn, but they are the same weight. These are sports weight. You can use other weights. The finished size depends on your yarn. So take any four colors, and you really need only a very small piece for, of each color, so you don't need full balls of it. If you happen to have leftover yarns, then you need a hook that goes with the yarn. This one is three millimeter. These are my favorite hooks. There's a link in the description for them. And then you need sharp scissors and a needle. I prefer to use a sharp needle instead of a tapestry needle. So let's start the tutorial. So I'm making another one just like this one. First this here lilac base and uh, then the yellow stitches on top of it afterwards. We are using foundation stitches here. So make a slip knot and chain three. And then we start the foundation stitches, foundation double crochets instead of a chain. Yarn over, insert the hook into the third, stitch from the hook, and start just like an ordinary double crochet. But now we are making the chain and the double crochets at the same time. So a yarn over and through just one. So that's the chain bit. And then finish the double crochet. And again, take both sides of that there stitch we made. Just one. And there. And then another double crochet in that same stitch. So in here, but this time you make an ordinary double crochet straight away. There. And then we need 12 foundation double crochets. So I'll just make a couple here. There. And again, just through one, so it grows. And a double crochet. And another one. Like that. So that you will have 12 after where we increased. Here, I have 12 since the increase. And then another increase so that we'll have a second double crochet in that last stitch. Just an ordinary double crochet and then three more foundation double crochets so that it grows. One, two, and three. And then the rocker, this part is done. So then cut the yarn. While we are working on this, it's worth weaving in yarn ends as we go, because otherwise it's full of those ends and it makes it messy to work with. Then this here yellow bit, make a slip knot and now make sure that you have this right way around so that the stitches here are showing. To start with, we'll put that slip knot through the first gap between two double crochets there. And then we start surface crochet so that the yarn is always behind under this here work. Insert the hook in the next gap in between two double crochets and make a slip stitch. And this is how we continue. 
you go and get the yarn from underneath it and here where we increased make sure you put it through both like this until the end always in between two double crochets and get the yarn and pull through until the end here and then cut the yarn and don't go across the border there so you leave it in the last gap just the way we started it there there and you may need to push them a little if they are all at the top or somewhere so that's that bit done Next, we'll do this turquoise part, the main body. We'll attach it directly to the rocker bit. But since there are two legs, we first need to make one and then leave it there. And uh, then we start here and then we attach to do the rest of it as one piece. Each leg is two double crochet rows here. But we need to start on the wrong side, count the sixth sixth and attach your yarn there chain three you may need to tighten that a bit a double crochet in the next stitch and the next chain two turn and a double crochet in the middle and at the top of the chain we started with hard to get at times and that's the first leg and cut the yarn and make sure it's long enough because we'll need to sew a couple of stitches there so finish that off there then turn and then we'll do the other side now we start from here so it's the third you need to insert your hook into one two three and the same here chain three double crochet and a third and another one chain two turn and a double crochet and one more at the end there so now we have the legs there and then we'll do the first row of the body and that attaches these two legs chain two turn and now I'll have a double crochet also in that very first one the next one and there at the top of the chain and now we need to get across to the other side so here again we are using the foundation double crochets we used in that there rocker and you need six so you create the chain and the double crochets six like this so make six and then we'll look at it here I have a six and then continue directly on the other side of these legs three double crochets there and this is normal that it stays like that there this is why I said to leave the yarn we'll sew those there together and one to the end there and then here before we go back the second row of the body will make the tail chain 10 for that 
and when you have 10 turn the chain and uh, if we look at this here you can see that there are different heights of stitches in the tail to form the shape. First a slip stitch in the second stitch from the hook Then a single crochet in the next one, half double crochet in the one after, and then to make it turn we'll have two stitches in the one stitch. Two double crochets in the next one, And the next one, two there, and two half double crochets in the next one. And then a single crochet at the end of the tail, or rather the beginning. <laughs> and then we start crocheting across three double crochets, and then to make a bit of a shape for where the saddle goes, we'll have four half double crochets next, just that it's slightly lower stitches. Four. And then continue double crochets until the end of the row. And then we need to make a bit of a neck here that the separate head will go on. First make a second double crochet in that last stitch there chain two and turn and four double crochets starting with the very first stitch there. Four. And then one more row, chain two again and turn and now skip the very first one and then crochet next two together. So start double crochets, but leave them like this and then pull the yarn through both at the same time. And then finish it off. So cut the yarn there and um, finish off all the yarn ends at this stage and here make a couple of stitches from this to that so that it stays together like that there. Here's that and then we'll make the head separately, a slip knot and the head is mainly single crochets because they are smaller and then it's easier to shape it that way. Chain four And then three single crochets in that chain. And then chain four. And turn. And now a single crochet in each stitch, starting first with the chain and then going on into the stitches that we already have. A single crochet in each. And taking both loops on the hook. And then add another one at the very end. So it shapes it a bit rounded and then chain one and now 
this row and the next row, one single crochet in each. So one in each, there and back. So I have done that now. There's all together four rows now, including the small one we started with. And then we need the ear. Chain two and uh, starting a double crochet in that corner stitch, but leave it like that. And another one in the same stitch. And then we pull them together yarn over through all of them and then a stitch and cut the yarn. Here it is and if you have it a bit sticking out like mine so when you finish off the yarn so pull it together a bit there and finish off the other yarn end too. Then we're doing the outline that's in pink. First make sure you have it the right way around in your ha hand now so that the head is to the left and the ear is there and the bit where we have four rows instead of just three is here. And insert the hook at the sort of root of the ear there and pull the yarn through. Chain one and tighten that. And then what we are doing is going right round using slip stitches. Take always just one loop at the very edge of the head and then go across. Sometimes it can be hard to get it. And when you have gone round the ear, again insert the hook in the middle of it there, in the same place where you started. There. And then just keep going. One slip stitch into each stitch, right round there. Just the same way everywhere. Like this. Then you can finish off one end, but leave the other one for sewing the head on later. Then we are going to outline this, but before that we need to make the tiny saddle because it's easiest to attach it at the same time when making the outline. It's like that, there are just a few stitches. First chain six, make a chain of six, and then a double crochet in the third stitch from the hook, and uh, three more double crochets. And finish off with a half double crochet in that same last stitch. Like that. And here again, finish it off, but leave one of the yarn ends for sewing on a couple of stitches. Then we are going to do the outline on this main body part. First of all, check to make sure that you are on the right side of the work, that the stitches are showing on that side there. We don't need to outline this here because it will be covered by the head, but then here. So insert the hook and I'm using this pink yarn. Chain one and uh, start going round just the same way we did with the head. So at regular intervals just take a loop and make a slip stitch. Go first in there and then we'll continue like that. And uh, then we need to get across here. You could cut the yarn and start again, but I think that's so many yarn end. So instead I chain two and uh, then turn it so that I get that on this side and and then I pull that through here. Each stitch wherever seems to be the best 
next spot and go around over there again like that and there again you can go on the wrong side chain two and then turn it again and get that loop from there and like I said in the other one if this seems too complicated then just cut the yarns and start again and there and then keep going here go to the end of the tail and then we look at how we do it so that it stays sharp there now and uh, chain one before continuing the top part of the tail that way it sort of stays sharper there the turning and then again continue around until you get to get to here because then we start attaching that there saddle so I'm here now and then take that saddle piece and take it the way that the chain stitches are at the top where we started so that the bigger loops that we see are down here and set it in there and we attach it by inserting the hook at the same time through one loop in that saddle and one loop in the actual horse and that for all of the four stitches that there are in that there saddle bit there and there and one more and then just do the last bit and finish off here and cut the yarn here so so far headless horse and now finish off this here yarn but make a couple of stitches that don't show under through there it's just so that this that this doesn't turn like that there attach it to the body so here's the finished one and then take the head and see exactly where it should go so that it looks nice suppose that there will be nice i think that's right and then hold it there and sew it on again with just a few stitches then just two more things the rain and the mane first the rain using the yellow yarn and then attach the yarn next to the saddle there and uh, chain seven chain seven here So that will come over here. If you want it longer, you can, of course, then make more stitches there. And then we need to go across the face here. And the easiest way to do that is to cut the yarn and leave a good bit enough to crochet with. And then stretch the stitch a bit so it doesn't run away. And get the yarn, put the hook through that way and get that piece that you cut and then insert the hook there from the back and uh, and use the hook to put the yarn at the back so we can crochet with it there i broke the yarn a bit but so here and now i return the hook into the stitch and then crochet across here just the way we were doing in he in this here bit in there through both and take the yarn through and then across and 
pull it through like that. So that bit's done. And you can finish off those yarns. Then we need the mane. I'm using the lilac, the same color as I have at the start of it. And inserting the hook there close to the saddle. And uh, chain one. And then we'll have uh, single crochets across the back there. Just single crochets first here. And then when you come to where the head is, then go not into these here outlining stitches, but right behind them. Take it from there and more. And then a couple of stitches behind the ears that won't be showing, but we need to get across. And with the ear there, so two more stitches so that it comes a bit on the forehead here. So two more there. There. And one more. there and then what we do to get a border like this here we'll do reverse single crochets backwards first chain two and then we start reverse single crochets so we do single crochets but backwards i'll put the first one in the same stitch where we started so it's just a single crochet but backwards and then the next one as well and so on. So one reverse single crochet into each stitch until there. That's it there. And the last thing to do is the eye. And uh, I think it's a good idea to use a black pin to try out where would be the best place to have the eye so that the horse looks nice. That there maybe. And uh, when you decide where the eye goes, then just get some sort of a black thread or yarn or anything black or dark gray or dark brown and sew a couple of tiny stitches in there for the eye. Here we are. It's done. I steamed it a bit because it's cotton. Enjoy making the rocking horses and also check out this other applique, a cute bunny rabbit. <laughs>